Hello guys, welcome to details. This is D and we will try to tell you everything we learn in detail. So let's go. India being a diverse country and a large country which got independence in the year 1947. People's financial condition wasn't that great that time. But people didn't know the idea of banks and its systems. The district of Dakshina Kannada and Udupi, togetherly called South Kerala in the state of Karnataka, is now popularly known as Cradle of Indian Banking. But why? Because five big banks were born here. Now their total revenue is over 15 billion and has over massive 150,000 employees all over the country and abroad. So today in this video, we will bring you out the story of the banks responsible for this title and the people behind this and now this place losing the gloom of the title as the result of bank mergers. Corporation Bank and Canada Bank were the first to be born in this region. Corporation Bank was founded by Khan Bahadur Sahib as the Canada Banking Corporation Udupi Limited. Then Ammambala Subbarao Pai founded the Canada Bank as Canada Bank Hindu Permanent Fund in Mangaluru in 1906. Later on, Syndicate Bank was established in Udupi in the year 1925 under the name Canara Industrials and Banking Syndicate Limited by three people Upendra Pai, Vaman Kudwa and Dr. T.M. Pai. Then later, Vijay Bank was established in Mangaluru by A.B. Shetty primarily to help the farming community. The name was derived from Vijay Dashami, the last day of Navaratri, a Hindu festival meaning nine nights. In 1931, Karnataka Bank was started in 1924 in Mangalore. Since the time of Vijayanagara Empire, uh, which is around 16th century, banking institutions in Karnataka revolved around the temples. Every financial activities took place under that. But in the late 19th century, people saw the rise of many banking institutions catering the business needs of the people in the region. Most of them failed, while some merged with Canada Bank and Karnataka Bank in the 20th century. Let's look at the defect. During the PMJDY, Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana, a financial inclusion program of the Government of India that aimed at expanding affordable access to financial services such as bank accounts, remittances, credit, insurance and pensions. During this time, Branches in South Kenya, that is Dakshina Kannada and Udupi, had very less work as 95% of the population were already covered. Okay, we got to know that why this region is called the cradle of Indian banking. But I said it's losing its title now. But why? It's because of the bank mergers that happened recently. Now, Vijaya Bank is merged with the Bank of Baroda and Dena Bank to become Bank of Baroda. Syndicate Bank is merging with Canara Bank to become Canara Bank. Corporation Bank is merging with Union Bank. Before the merger happened, Canara Bank operated over 6,000 branches. Syndicate Bank operated over 4,000 branches. Vijay Bank and Corporation Bank operated over 2,000 branches and Karnataka Bank over 800 branches. Canara Bank has 8 foreign branches. Syndicate Bank has a branch in London. Now after the mergers, the South Canada is about to lose its title. We are left with only two banks from the place. Now speaking prudently, merger of the banks was the need of the hour. Our nationalized banks were reeling with multiple problems and it needed to be fixed. Bank nationalization which happened in 1969 and 1980 nationalized all the banks from the region except Karnataka Bank. This was aimed at strong supervision and banking for the rural segment. This supposedly a good move for the welfare. But what about emotions? The loudest protest for nationalization and merger came from the South Canara region, but it fell on deaf ears. The banks from the region were very strong before the merger and were used as deal sweeteners. Vijay Bank was a sweetener in the deal of Bank of Baroda and Dena Bank merger. 
Vijay Bank has been posting profits for several years till its merger. In between all this, we lost the cradle of banking in India. The names of Dr. T M Pai, Khan Bahadur Haji Abdullah, Mulki Sundaram Shetty, and Amembal Subbarao Pai. These names would be buried deep in the dusty history books. The contribution of the people of South Canara to the Indian banking system would be buried deep in the history. The journey from five to two has been painful. Our pride with the banks is lost somewhere. Well, people say we must move on, but sometimes it isn't too easy. This was all for this video. We hope you liked and learned something new from the video. Please do like and share. and do subscribe to the channel we will meet you in the next one to tell you something more in detail until then bye